Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. One of the new weapons coming to Battlefield 1 with the Russian-themed In the Name of the Tsar DLC is the Liu Rifle, and it's a bit of an oddity. A new gun for the Medic class, the rifle boasts an integral 6-round magazine and a fire rate of 300 rounds per minute, unless you fire it as a bolt action. That's right, the Liu Rifle in Battlefield 1 is true to its real-life counterpart. A very early gas trap rifle with a rotating bolt, the Liu Rifle could be fired by manually cycling the bolt as you would with a period straight-pull rifle like the Gewehr 95 or the Swiss Model 1911 rifle. It may seem a bit redundant, but it's an interesting design and failsafe. During development, Chinese General Ching and Liu struggled with finding locally made springs strong enough to cycle the bolt on the weapon. Perhaps recognizing future issues with spring supply or adverse field conditions, the General's decision to preserve a straight pull operation could be seen as both resourceful and remarkably self-aware of China's manufacturing limitations. It's a shame development of the weapon never passed the experimental stage. Unfortunately, in Battlefield 1, the Leo Rifle's bolt-action mode doesn't appear to have any benefit. Damage remains the same while sacrificing rate of fire. You can set the rifle to bolt-action by selecting the weapon's Alt-Fire key. It would be a much more interesting and versatile weapon if DICE was able to implement different damage models for the weapon's two modes, such as the straight pull doing more damage closer to that of scout weapons, while semi-automatic fire deals damage appropriate to similar medic weapons like the Self Slaughter 1906. And this is still a possibility. The Leo rifle on the Battlefield 1 CTE is still a little rough around the edges, and there is no animation changing the weapon from semi-automatic to bolt action. With the Liu bearing a number of similarities to other medic weapons in magazine size, damage, and rate of fire, I think two different damage models would help the Liu carve out an interesting niche in Battlefield 1. Until then, it's just a novelty. If you're interested in learning more about the history and design of the Leo Rifle, be sure to check out Forgotten Weapons video on the Leo Rifle, and I'll leave a link to that in the video description. What do you think about the Leo's bolt action? What about having two different damage models based on the gun's operation? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Share on websites like Facebook and Twitter, and be sure to subscribe. To take your Battlefield 1 game to the next level, check out the Battlefield 1 Ultimate Utility app with the link in the video description. Thanks for watching.